Hey everyone, how have you all been doing? I know it has been a while, I'm so sorry for that. I had a bunch of stuff going on, even when I was recording the endings, I didn't wanna let you guys know so you could focus on the videos, and honestly, some stuff is still going on, but I think I'm ready to start recording again. So, thank you all for waiting patiently. Now, this video, because I've recorded it like 30 times now, not even joking. There are some days that I had to stop and I was just like, my voice is done. I have to just put it off and try to do it another time. And I wanted to change wording, say different things. Here we go though. I'm feeling like this is the one. So let's start with the easiest thing. I'm gonna be playing Mio Baila. The reason for that is simple because I didn't get Petra in the Blue Lion route. If I did, I, I have to see Petra's ending and Petra is, well, not the only girl, but like, Edelgard and Dorothea, if I was to I could still see their endings, but I can't see Petra's ending in, you know, after everything we've done, it'd be a crime not to. So, yeah, I'm going to be going male by this. I don't think many people have a problem with that. As far as the difficulty, it will be maddening because you all let me know, to my dismay, the Black Eagle boss has the hardest boss. Well, according to what you all say. So, in that case, I'm like, all right, well... I like challenges. The whole point of me doing Maddening Mode was to get the most out of the game. And if I can still have a harder challenge later, then I would like to do that. On that note though, I don't want to be spending too much time on maps that we've already done, uh, cause it's just with a new team. And really they're not even new. I will we'll get to that later. So what I would like to do is, and hear me out on this, for select characters, I would like to give them their abilities back. One is Byleth. Like, I do not want to try to grind Byleth out again. Like, I spent so much time grinding my units in the Blue Lion route, thinking that I was gonna do a different difficulty in the Black Eagles. And if I'm being honest, the Blue Lion's Golden Deer combo, that inspired me to work a lot harder, you know? I just. Not sure if that will be in me uh, in the Black Eagle route, at least as far as grinding all those units, uh, which is another reason why I said, you know, I don't want to recruit that many. Let me just focus on the Black Eagle units themselves. But um, I would like to get Byleth's skills, at least his sort rank, back to its usual prowess. I don't think I'm going to abuse it, um, but as I want to see how the Black Eagles would do against a normal challenge, you know. Um, and I also think I would get Lysithia's magic back, but only have her be a sword wielder for like the first maps. Because long story short, I was going to get Lysithia's magic prowess back up to full. Like that was going to happen. I've done it twice now. I'm not eager about just grinding to get Lysithia's magic ranks up. Like, that doesn't interest me. So that is that. Now, for the other units, because if you guys remember, thanks to me recruiting most of the Black Eagle units, they qualify for that as well. Most of them got their ranks up to like A by the end of the route, Bernadetta especially. I could just give them their ranks back, but I'm not gonna do that, all right? The Black Eagles will start at their base, especially since I don't have Edelgard and Hubert. Maybe if I had the whole team, I'd do it because the only thing I'm interested in on fighting at the hardest difficulty is the final boss and Byleth and Lysithia's ranks would be maxed by then. Like, <laughs> so it won't matter as far as me getting it early, except it'll just make things a little bit easier as I go along. Because thanks to the Blue Lions, it showed me that a majority of the maps will be the same in the Black Eagle route. At least I'm pretty sure. I mean, yeah, they may have some different mechanics and different uh, ways that you play them, but the maps themselves will be the same. And for at least for the pre-time skip, well, actually, I don't know, because Edelgard is different for the pre-time skip even. So we'll see, but I'm anticipating their goal the same. And if they are the same for a majority of at least the pre-time skip, I would like to just beat that along, and I don't think people have such a big problem with that. I really showed that with the Blue Lions. As far as the other recruitable units go, I will say that, honestly, the main reason I didn't want to recruit all the Ashen Wolves is because I was fearing a happy Constance combo returning. 
And I felt that happy... Well, I, I didn't think that Edelgard would fight her. I honestly thought that Happy would just naturally be there. Like, I think when I signed in the Golden Deer, I could have just went downstairs and recruited all four of them. So, I guess in that sense, it really doesn't matter about me actually recruiting them or not. Um, plus, I already know Linhart has warp, so Anna Constance will be coming. So, that combo would already probably still happen. But, I won't have Lysithia's staff because... Well, actually, I don't know about that. We'll get to that. But I do think I'll just go ahead and recruit the Ashen Wolves. My guess is that they would have just stayed there anyways. And as far as the professors uh, and all the Church Sterles members, we'll see. Um, I'm not fully decided on it. I've seen good arguments as to why I should. But for the main units, here we go. All right. I said I was going to mention some spoiler stuff. Really, I'm going to mention one thing for this video because it's the most important thing. Since I've had that conversation with Edelgard and Dimitri, a lot of that spoiler stuff, well, it's still relevant, but I still got what I wanted to a degree. But this. This is a spoiler I knew since right before the Blue Lion post time skip. In fact, I think it was on Rhea's A rank video. Somebody asked me on Hilda's rank, or S rank video, what about Rhea? If you guys remember, I have been very curious about Rhea's rank. I would say equal to Hilda's, because I was trying to find out more about Rhea as well. Like Edelgar and Rhea, you know, the two different sides, really. But yet, when I got to the post time skip, I kind of dropped it. There's a reason for that. And here is a question I need all of you to answer. All right, and that is, is there a fourth route? Not just is there a fourth route. Does that fourth route exist in Edelgard's route, in the Black Eagle's route? And actually, I really shouldn't say Edelgard's route because if my thinking is correct, it's not Edelgard's route, it's Rhea's route. Someone left a comment on that video on Rhea's A rank. I guess thinking that I wouldn't see it. And it was worded something like this. I don't think he's going to do the blank blank route. From the name of the route, it was very obvious to me that it wasn't the Black Eagle route. Plus, just using common sense, obviously, I've said many times I'm doing the Black Eagle route. So that couldn't have been what they were talking about. In addition to the comment they were responding to, it led me to believe since, like I said, it was on the video, I think with Reyes A rank, that there must have been a fourth route. If you all only knew how much that changed everything I looked at in the post time skip of the blue lines, just knowing or thinking that I knew that there was a fourth route. My thinking is that it appears when Edelgard shows up as a Flame Emperor, or at least in that area when, you know, Rhea's trying to revive Sothis, then Edelgard normally shows up as a Flame Emperor in other routes. And then Edelgard, instead, since we're, her, we're truly her professor and she has a rank with us, she's like, Professor, here's what I'm trying to do. Rhea's my enemy. Will you stand with me or against me? And... If you happen to have Rhea's rank up, you can actually choose to side with Rhea as well, especially since she is the only person that you can get her A rank pre time skip, at least as far as I know. While Edelgard, you can only get to a B. It just kind of makes sense. Not to mention, there's so many other things that I could talk about. The fact of in the Golden Deer route, when you face Edelgard, she has that scene that says, My teacher. I thought since then that it meant that the black eagles would go against what edelgard wanted that was my main thing that and how they were acting when edelgard announced her declaration and they weren't with her and they were wondering what should they do i thought in the black eagle route what made it so traumatic is that you fight against edelgard but people kept assuring me like no 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 that's not the case you know she's got an s rank you know this that and the third i was like okay well i guess i'm wrong 
but if in her route you can choose to do that, it would also explain all the different responses the Black Eagles have had where they do express in the Blue Lion route how they disapprove of Edelgard's actions. Especially Ferdinand. Dude was like, yo, I ain't about this. No part of my being wants to do what Edelgard is doing. I'm like, how on earth is, like, does the Black Eagle route go if, you know, you all just go with her? It makes me think that the Black Eagles don't really choose Edelgard. They choose Byleth, who chose Edelgard. At least, look, I could go into a whole bunch of theories, and that's why I've been re-recording all these videos, because I've been trying to tell you guys all the differences that I've had and all the reasonings that I've had for thinking that Rhea had a route. Biggest one, I think, being that the Church of Cyril's members fit an actual team. Each team normally has a attack mage, a healing mage, Hanuman, Manuela, an archer, Shamir, a second in command, Seth, and then some miscellaneous units, as well as their house leader, would be Rhea. I also saw maps where Rhea was a required unit, but I haven't been able to use Rhea a single time in this game. I also got Rhea's A rank, and in the Blue Lion route, an S rank option did not appear. And I could go on. So either way, I need to know does this exist and is the choice during that moment where I was describing during the rite of rebirth does the choice appear there and why am I asking well because I have to consider it here's the thing the last thing I was going to end off on right the recruiting units it depends on Edelgard because originally I was saying that I was going to leave the Blue Lions and the Golden Deer to support their leaders because what I assumed had happened was that the different routes would portray the different leaders that you didn't choose in negative lights. But Claude was still my boy in the Blue Lion route. And the reason I was thinking that was actually to Edelgard's benefit because I remember a scene that people don't mention when I say Edelgard didn't try to discuss things and the Golden Deer, I've always had this in my mind where Edelgard tries to ask Claude, you know, why'd you come to the monastery and everything? But then you showed up. Why did you return to House Regan? What brought you to the monastery? It almost seemed like she was trying to see if Claude would be on her side. But in all honesty, and if I'm being honest, Claude was being a little close-lipped, you know, saying, if you just promise unconditionally to do what I want to do, then I'll answer any questions you like. And Edelgard responds, I got my own dream, my prayers doesn't interfere with mine. While Claude was being a little difficult in that scene, I still think if you're trying to start a war and Edelgard's gotten all those allies, you know, I what I would assume that happened in her route was that she tried to talk to Dimitri and Claude, and she was convinced that they wouldn't join her. And therefore, they would seem more negative in the Black Eagle route. However, after seeing Dimitri's route, where Edelgard it seems like she never talked to Dimitri about this, or even tried to, like there's no inclination of that. And when Claude is literally still my boy, didn't do any negative things. In fact, I had some of my best Claude moments and held the moments in that route. It's got me thinking about some things. And I think the biggest one though, if I have to say it, yes, this is honestly the case. Hilda's S rank. Well, it's really Marianne and Hilda's S rank, but the thing is, I can save Marianne. I can't do that for Hilda. And what am I saying? Those S ranks make me realize how much I truly care for them. And I don't think I have it in me, especially after just pulling Marianne and Fire Emblem Heroes. I don't think I have it in me to want to leave my Golden Deer units behind. I'm not quite sure, but from what I expect Edelgard to do, I'm gonna think, N no, I don't, like, regardless of what I, what I thought, because my thinking was, I'll be okay playing the villain. It's a different story, though, if I care for the characters that much. I think the Golden Deer girls were in, like, limbo for me, and so I didn't want to acknowledge what I was feeling, but now, Long story short, if there comes a point in time where it's Edelgard and Hilda on the battlefield, 
I, I don't want to choose to take out Hilda. I've seen the Dew fall, I've seen Dimitri fall, and I already know, like obviously I don't want to take out Claude, but like Claude's fate's kind of sealed, I would think. But I already know I can't recruit Hilda. And my thinking is that if I were to choose Rhea's route, she might not even go to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Why? Because she doesn't show up in that cutscene. Like she does show up in other cutscenes, like the one with Dallas. I'm thinking that's definitely one in her route. Rhea, where were you? You will never get to enjoy your victory. It can't be. And I was thinking that, you know, why would Rhea have beef with any of the individual houses? Unless they attack her. It just wouldn't make sense. So, uh, final thing on the units to recruit, we shall see because I may choose to do Rhea's route halfway through. I'm not sure. It all depends on Edelgard. You guys can try to talk me out of it, but understand the more you spoil Edelgard's route, the least likely I'll do it. Because by recruiting all the Black Eagle members, a lot of the newness that I would have that I got in the Blue Lions and the Golden Deer is gone. I've seen Ferdinand have a whole paralog, you know, an emotional one at that. I gotten their skills up. I know what their skills are. I know how they look post time skip, you know. I've gotten a lot of their ranks. The Black Eagle House is not a new house to me anymore. I know, not know them like a great detail, but I have a good idea of who they are. I've seen their A ranks with some of them. I've seen their endings, you know. So the only reason that I have that would keep me going with the Black Eagle route is Edelgard's mentality. And I imagine a lot of it will be said post time skip. You don't have to say that. But now it's being weighed on whatever actions I imagine Edelgard will take and if I feel it will be justified or not. Because if it's not, just imagine how that will go. I know that there was another way. I could have avoided possibly taking out some of my favorite units. I don't know. I don't know. But that's why I'm having this discussion video. Basically, I'm saying that that part's kind of still up in the air. If you would try it, if you want to try to convince me, just do so without saying what the actual routes are about, right? Don't say, "Oh, you can't do this in this route. Or you can't do that in that route." That that's not the way, all right? So with that being said, Please post your thoughts down in the comments below. I feel good about this video, even though it was a little on the long side. I think I got everything I wanted to get to. Um, but please post your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, I should have mentioned this like a long time ago, but uh, I will be starting Breath of the Wild after this um, and seeing how people like that series. And then after that, then I think I'll be transitioning back to Fire Emblem because I'm honestly curious to see and start the I guess third out of the fourth routes and that's another thing I might just do both of them too we'll see but um post your thoughts down in the comments below and I will see you all next time